All right, we're back at 742 with a new YouTube channel that's being met with some controversy. It was launched by the Seattle Police Department, and it features videos from cameras worn by its officers. And while some are praising this move, others want to see more. Here's NBC's Joe Fryer. With blurry video and no sound, this certainly yeah. won't be confused for an episode of Cops, but the Seattle Police Department thinks it could be a game changer. It is about accountability. It is about building okay, public great. trust. Where in my head goes, the camera goes basically. As part of a pilot program, a dozen Seattle officers are currently wearing body cameras. There's a device where I can hook it onto my, uh, my, my collar here or, or lapel. And the police department is now posting the footage on a YouTube channel. And we think that will help increase the trust that citizens have uh, when they interact with the uh, Seattle Police Department. But Seattle is balancing transparency with concerns about privacy. That's why the videos are heavily edited. Too much, according to some critics who feel it's hard to make out anything, too little to others. And the reality is, is that it's still possible to identify people. In viewing the videos myself, I was able to identify a number of people that I know just by you know, viewing these blurred videos. Even though the police videos posted to YouTube are blurry, the law does allow people to request unedited copies that are crystal clear. Officer Chris Myers, who's testing the body cameras, likes the idea because the public won't just see high profile videos like this shooting in 2010. Hey, put the knife down. It's out there for the public to see like, hey, this is mostly what we do. It's mundane, you know, kind of boring stuff for the most part. Across the country, police transparency has been a major issue. This week in Ferguson, Missouri, where Michael Brown was killed, the Justice Department said it found a pattern of racially biased policing. In 2011, Seattle police faced its own federal investigation, which found a pattern of excessive force. These very public YouTube videos are one part of Seattle's reform process. The city admits the technology needs to improve, but this could be a glimpse at the future of policing. For today, Joe Fryer, NBC News. Interesting. A lot of people are talking about accountability yeah. and transparency in light of that Ferguson report. Yeah. No question.